Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this one, we're looking at the Blue Yeti Caster. Now, this is a great all in one solution that includes a microphone and a boom arm for anyone that's looking to get into maybe podcasting, Twitch streaming, any type of audio work that you're going to be using a microphone on a frequent basis. A package from Blue that gets you started in anything you need to do audio, and it saves you a lot more money than buying it all individually as well. So in this set, you've got the Yeti microphone, which is the blackout edition, which usually retails for about $120. Then you've got the Compass boom arm, which is about $100. And then the Blue Radius shock mount, which is about $50. So all in all, you do save about $70 as of recording this. So the prices may vary from time to time. But generally speaking, you do save quite a bit of money if you were to buy it all individually. Now, I won't be reviewing the Yeti in real depth in this video, as it has been reviewed a lot of times on YouTube in more specific detail. I'm going to be reviewing this as a whole, but I will be giving some impressions about the Yeti and what it does offer. So on the radius shock mount, you've got two strong pieces of elastic that go the entirety of the way around the actual shock mount itself, and they go up in different notches to suspend the Yeti itself. You can use other microphones on this as well. You do get an adapter in the box, but you're not really going to use that as obviously you're buying the package as a whole, unlike buying the shock mount on its own. Now you can mount the Yeti straight up or upside down depending on how you want to do it. I've gone upside down for the most part but I have demonstrated it upright that you'll see in a minute. You've got a nice range of adjustability in the actual short mount itself which gives you a lot of freedom. Obviously it depends what way you're going to mount it as well. So it's nice to have that extra degree of movement. That's nice and solid as well. Screws down tight and I've never had it slip. So here's a demonstration of it in the upright position. Personally I think it looks a little bit better hanging upside down and it also kind of feels like it's more sturdy upside down as well because the kind of weight seems more centre balanced unlike at the top. It kind of got a little bit more of a flex and a bit more movement. And being that it's a shock mount holding it as well rather than just a static arm it feels a little bit more secure facing down as well so on the Yeti itself you've got a mute button that flashes when it's enabled as well so you can easily see when you're muted or not you've got volume controls for the three and a half millimeter input jack if you want to wear headphones then on the back you've got a gain i've kept this at about a quarter of what it can actually do but i use it within six inches of my mouth and that's on the cardioid pattern which is designed just for front input of sound You've also got options on there as well for just the front and the back, all around and then also left and right. So a lot of different options there for you to use in lots of different scenarios. So on the Compass mic arm you have got a nice channel that's got some cable management clips. Just keeps that cable nice and tidy and out of the way and out of sight. Obviously it's going to go across the little parts that actually have some movement on the arm, but overall it's tucked away nicely and it looks pretty good. Now for anyone that's wondering about some specifics, you've got a maximum reach of 32 inches. You can rotate this 360 degrees and the maximum weight it can take is 2.4 pounds. So setting up the arm is really simple. Just use the included C-clamp to go onto your desk. You can also drill this directly through the desk as well if you want a more permanent solution, but I think most people are gonna use the C-design. Literally clamp that down on your desk, then all you need to do is slide the actual arm with the pole into the actual base. Once you've attached the microphone, the weight of that counterbalances the arm and then it's set and you literally have to do nothing more. Really nice and easy. Now, one thing I would recommend adding is a pop filter. I've had this one for absolutely years, I've used it pretty much with every microphone that I've ever used. That actually fits really well on part of the radius shock mount as well. So it all kind of ties in really well. Make sure you don't get any more of those P's or B's in with your sound, it is those explosive pops that can often put off people from listening to your stuff. So always a recommendation, especially if you're doing podcasting, you're gonna be talking a lot for a long period of time. You definitely don't want those sounds in there. So overall, this has been a pleasure to use. I've loved just the convenience, basically, of being able to just pull it across from the right-hand side of the desk and be ready to record whatever I needed to do. Just that time-saving, whereas before I would use a desk mount, and it wouldn't always be plugged in as well. So, you know, having it all plugged in, ready, just swing your arm around, and then you're ready to record. Oh, so convenient, and I just love the ease of use from this. Another little thing I found it to be really helpful for is when I'm playing back a video that I've just recorded, I may find that one bit doesn't sound quite right or that needs to be re-recorded. I can easily just swing it around and get it recorded without having to faff and set it all up again. So again, nice and quick and simple. A more common thing I'm doing nowadays as well is Skype calls on different reviews I'm gonna be doing. So, you know, if I get a call all of a sudden, it's all ready to go. Really good and just so efficient. But overall, this is a great package from Blue. Definitely recommending this for anyone that wants to get into YouTube, doing voiceovers, uh, maybe podcasts, Twitch streaming, for example, as well. You can do this in lots of different scenarios and set it up so you don't always have it on the screen. Obviously, you'll have to put a bit of a higher gain, but then you've got the shock mount, which can compensate for any knocks that may be on the table. I definitely recommend getting a pop filter, though, if you do get this bundle, just to top it all off, make that audio a little bit more crisp. And of course, this whole voiceover has been done with the Blue Yeti. So thank you for watching this video guys. If you've got any more questions, leave them in the comments box below and I'll get back to you. If you enjoyed this video and you haven't already, please consider subscribing. A big thank you to Blue for sending this out for me to review and I'll see you all in the next one.